Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see how to handle web views and uh, how we can see basic web pages uh, on our in our application. So let's get started. First, I have created a project uh, called Web View, and uh, you can see uh, this is our main page dot XML. If I double click on that, I will get my C sharp page. Uh, for main page dot xml yeah. and this is uh, the designer where you can uh, drag and drop uh, uh, elements from the toolbox so first I am going to take a wave view So uh, adjust it according to your needs. Now uh, we will need a text box in which uh, you, our user can give a uh, name of a website. First, I am uh, renaming the text box uh, as a link. Uh, find the button. If I if I double click on the button, uh, I will uh, get a event handler on click method. We will do all our coding in this method only. Now, uh, let's change the text which is appearing on the button. And, uh, first, we have to go to properties and content and change the content to whatever you need. I have just named it as go. Don't forget to save your project time to time. Now we are naming uh, the wave view. So we need to or uh, do some changes uh, uh, to add uh, like uh, so we have to use the web view element to display our web pages so first web view the name which we had given dot navigate and in that navigation function we need a URI not a string see if I am now entering a string it will give me an error yeah You can see the error. Um, so I have to modify it. Um, for that, we will create a URI by new space URI and uh, giving uh, the uh, giving our string to it. Um, it will work fine. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to add HTTP extension before our string because uh, for, by seeing that extension our uh, compiler knows that we uh, that it has to display web link. So see now if I just click on go I will see a Google home page. Now we have to design our app in such a way that uh, it will go to the website um, which we have, which user has given through the text box first let me adjust my UI because it was not not so pretty Uh, 
of data uh, input string in a variable. So I'm defining a variable in which I will take my string from text box. Um, so go for that the syntax if you have to get a string the syntax is uh, text box name dot uh, get text dot uh, to string so that we get the string object sorry not to get text only text yeah, uh, but uh, user will enter the string in the in, uh, in format uh, which will not contain HTTP. So we have to add an extra string or uh, HTTP uh, before the actual web address. I'll just simply pass our string my link to new URI and our project will work fine. So let's run it on local machine. Now we will enter our screen in google.com and press go. I should be able to see google.com and here. I am saying Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.